clicked over to 7.30. Okay, welcome. So this is um, probably um, very close to getting to the last sessions because we have a break through July and August because um, we know people go outside a bit more um, or you can do your own personal training. There'll be loads of recordings to, to follow. Anyway, today we're going to do good solid Pyramid 24. Okay, so we do a normal warm up building up from the back. It's always really good to build up from that. I can't stress how important learning that sequence and ingraining that in every time we get on the machine. Then we do our three, two, one, half pressure, three quarter pressure, firm pressure. We do a pyramid 24, which is 11 minutes of work. So you're gonna set your machine, three minutes at 20, two minutes at 22, one minute at 24. Then we come back down the other side. And if you've got your pacing right, you should be a symmetrical pyramid. Um, and and if, it's, if you're going better on the way down, have a little bit more courage on the way up. And if you're struggling on the way down, um, just adjust your pacing next time you're on the machine. Um, excellent, it's a good indication of making sure that we get good power per stroke rate as normal. So we come back down two minutes, three minutes at 22. Normally when I get to, you'll hear me call in the, in the session, when we get to between the two minutes and three minutes on the last one is to try and get your average, beat your average. And it often helps, gives you something to work towards in the last um, three minutes. And then we cool down in questions. Lucy's with us, but she's um, working this morning. She's out in the water coaching and then she'll be back in for glutes um, at eight o'clock. Okay, for those of you that stay for that session. Right, so it's gonna be a very warm week and thank God we've got this session out before the temperature really rises. Okay, so just need to check you can see me. Move my screen down a bit. Okay. Okay, so let's get this pyramid underway. Back stops, arms only. Again, you should have a really nice fluid rhythm around that back end. That's it. Keep that form still, same speed in, same speed out. So the glide always comes on the slide. Or the control always comes on the slide, not on the hands away or the boards. All the same speed in, same speed out. Okay, getting ready for body swing. This one, go. Again, stay within what's comfortable. Early in the morning, and this is the warm up. Always used to take me about three kilometers to actually go to full length in my single, or that's what my coach uses to say. And again, one of my pet topics at the moment, making sure that those hands come away before that body moves. It's really interesting. I've been coaching a lot of crews in preparation for racing. And those that look, they sort of look really relaxed and they've got loads of time and able just to get the initiation of those hands away first. Oh, oh, I apologise. Google's busy um, talking to me. All right. Okay, get it ready. The corner slide. This one. Go. Okay. So the corner slide is single most important, or one of the single most important reference points on the recovery. Trying to make sure we've completed all our body swing or by the time we get to pull us out. Just take a moment to relax those shoulders, they're low in their sockets. Your elbows facing backwards as if you're elbowing the person behind you. One of the ways to check that you've got your body swing right, so your seat will go backwards before you start the sliding. Okay, getting ready. A half slide. That's good. Let's start to here. I think you start to slide. 
slow down, there's more run, more rhythm, start to hear take on that really good, relaxed sound. Okay, three quarter slide. And full slide. Okay, half pressure. But you guys probably notice, always try and finish that um, progression, the slide sequence in five, three minutes. About 500 meters, just drills basically. Really focused today. Make sure we've got that really nice finished position of holding on to the stroke rate all the way to the end. Getting that work over. Finishing the stroke out. Hands away, rock over. You're racing at the moment. A good opportunity. Some of that winter technique in when you're doing a longer piece of work. It's getting longer piece of work. Great. Quite a while to come back to the COVID. I'm starting to feel much better. It's been a couple of months now. Okay, two minutes down, we've got one minute left. Half pressure. Great work, team. Relax. Change. Go to three quarter pressure. Make sure you're missing out. Machine change. Thirty seconds down. Nice work. Right. So we have one minute left. Three quarter pressure. So remember, we're going to start the pyramid stroke rate 20. So we want to make sure that our minute piece of work that 20.
30 seconds. Want to now open any doors or any windows? I'm really open all mine. Um, going to just set your machine. Remember, it's going to be 11 minutes of work. Excellent. Okay, so again, all of the work that we do is all about making sure that the stroke power per stroke is good. So when we change up on the rate. Our speed's going to get better each time when we come down, trying to minimize the drop of speed as we come down. Okay, so that helps us work on pacing and stuff like that. Okay, great. Okay, so looks like pretty much everyone's setting their machine or getting ready to go. Jenny's still tugging away at her miles, which is great, <laughs> which is brilliant. Okay, all righty. Okay, let's go. Pyramid. 24, so three minutes at 20, two minutes at 22, one minute at 24. Are you ready? Go. Getting that locked out. Things about getting straight. We don't have any wind waves. Just when you make changes, right? There's no need to change the stroke. Always chasing. Perfect. That's good. What's got your 20 locked out? Having a split. Make sure it's a split. And work your pacing both ways. It's too low. Actually, try and build it up. Too high. Okay. Okay, as you remember, even though we have done a warm up, it's still going to take a bit of time for the body to flick into ultimate efficiency. That's good, well done. Working on that. Hands away. Breeze over. Hands away. Okay, two minutes down. One minute left.
So making sure straight right here. Nice rhythm. As we're going to draw, draw, and should bring us nicely into 22. We don't really need to make sharpness beyond that. Remember, we want to increase in speed. Getting ready. This one. Go. Draw. Draw. Straight in at 22. Lock it out. Lock it out 22. Systems. Okay. That's the sure it's sustainable. And it's an increase. That's good. Okay, well that one more minute left at twenty two. Come around, we're going to draw, draw, and drop into 24. It's a power draw, long, powerful strokes. Same speed in, same speed out to the back end. Okay, getting ready. This one. Twenty four is consistent, and then look across your screen. When we come down on this, this is a pillow transition. We're going to try and keep that one speed. Dropping it to 22. Turn off the low. No small change. This one. Go. Walk. Close. Break down into 22, not below. Don't have to work harder. Get the stroke with that. Okay. Lock down that 22. It's always harder coming down accurately and going up. Actually, this transition is the hardest. Taking that powder. Good work. Well done. Riding along. Okay, one minute down, one minute left. Keep that powder. That's good. Keep it there. Nice work. Looking good. Good 
So now what I said before, have a look at your average, put that screen on, your average split, see whether you can work the right side of that average. Good. One minute there, two minutes left. Good work. Well, guys. Hold it out. Hold it out. Straight back. Hands away. Three bucks. Right. You hold on to that finish. Aim the power all the way to the back end. Amazing how much you'll get for your money. Yeah. So coming into the last minute, really important you don't let the stroke rate come up. But if you want to go faster, let's go. Really try to push the right side back to so it. Average split. That's it. Good work. Okay, 10 strokes left. Really good strokes. That's good. Last five. Never let it straight rate 20 and let it come on. Bam, bam. Well done, guys. Great piece of work. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, well done. So that's really good. Pyramid 24. Okay, great. Ooh. Yeah, certainly, I think last Monday, the reason why it was so challenging, Mercy was really hot last Monday. And I know a lot of people really found that quite hard. Humidity's down at about 55, 56 here in the Thames Valley. So yeah, well done guys, really good, really good basic Pyramid 24. Um, you know, as we go out of June and we go into July and August, if you're still keeping up your ergy or having a break and then coming back later, I keep up that rotation if you can on a Monday of going from Castle Ladder, sorry, Castle Pyramid Ladder, Castle Pyramid Ladder. So the castle again just gives you that opportunity to just keep those steps up and down, doesn't put too much pressure on your pacing. Pyramid really challenges you around your pacing, encouraging you to, you know, work a little bit harder than you would normally for an 11 minute piece. So it squeezes a bit more out of you, gives you a bit more discipline as well on those rates. 
especially when you're coming down the other side and hopefully feeling a bit tired. And of course, the ladder gives you that power, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, we know that rowing is a power endurance sport. So again, just helps you to kick up that power, um, especially if you're in the latter years of the halfway. <laughs> which I am, because <laughs> power is something that goes, we need to hold on to it. If you're a young gun, don't worry. You've got years to think about that. Great, um, great. Any, any questions? Um, well, I'll read out the notices. Um, James Briggs goes, thanks, Gwyn. Got to dash, you're a legend. Oh, and I get five exclamation marks. Yay, thank you, James. Kate, thank you. Um, Gareth, thanks a lot, Gwyn. Um, hard but great. That's what we want to do. Yeah, Kate, thanks for that. It's really nice. It's always great to get a thank you. Um, so any questions today or anything? Um, Lucy's just joined us as well. So um, Hugh goes, to me, you're a young gun. Oh, Hugh, that will definitely be a nice coffee at Henley Royal for you. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. Um, Ali goes, thanks. Great, brilliant. Thanks, Ali. That's really cool. Cinder, how are you? Good, back in Latvia. Yay. How is your frozen shoulder? We'll get the update on the frozen shoulder, hey? Oh, uh, it's still pretty frozen, actually. I was probably speaking a little too soon. <laughs> oh. it's, pretty, it's not good. But I can roll. Okay. Excellent. Good. Well, the good thing, the good thing is it'll come to an end eventually. It's just patience. So. Yeah, the Latvian doctor for paddling canoe kayak. I was in Poland. He said six to twenty-four months. Oh, excellent! <laughs> Great patience. Uh, so is like, your middle name? Hoping that's from when I fell in January. So I'm like already four months, five months in. So, yep. Great. Great. Any other questions from the team? Ali, you look like you wanted to ask a question, or are you just listening intently? <laughs> Uh, just listening today, just loving it, listening. Thank you. Great, 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 great. Great. Well, Lucy, how, um, oh, Steve says weekend starts here. Fantastic. Loving it. Excellent. Um, Lucy, well done in your silver medal at the Masters Championships. Thank you very much. I heard that the conditions were very, very rough, rough and right up your street. They were. So, yeah. Excellent. How was coaching this morning? Um, yeah, it was fun, thank you. Yeah, it was really nice. We had them kids out in singles and doubles, and uh, it was beautiful out in the harbour. So lovely this morning. And as for Nottingham, it was positively coastal, so it was brilliant. I did sit you on the you were missing with your coastal boat. Yeah, yeah. I did sit on the start line, looking across at my competitors, going, "Oh yes, it's really, really rough." Yeah, you don't want to be in, an, in one of those end packers. You're going to get bounced around all over the place. <laughs> So it was fun. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> Great. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to hand over to you. It's two minutes to go. Um, okay. But yeah. Great. So good morning, everybody. Jenny goes. Cool. No, just reading Jenny's because Jenny, don't know whether you know. I'm sorry, I handed over you now. I've um, put another spanner in the works. Jenny, you tell everyone what you're doing. Well, Kate Radley put out on Zoom Ergo, does anyone like to join her virtual crew rowing around Great Britain? And I engaged my typing finger before my brain and decided to join. And then I realised how far it was. And she's a marathon rower, so <laughs> totally different league, but every little helps. Definitely. And how far have you got left to go, Jenny? Or have you just started today? I just started yesterday. <laughs> So <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. <laughs> well, there was a smash on the M3, so it took me longer to go home from seven than Christchurch. I only managed 5k last night <laughs> after a day with small boys. So um so yeah. I've done this morning, so just every and, you, and people, people probably don't know that you're you've got triplets. Triplets, twins and twins. Yeah, so <laughs> lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I, a whole eight, Jenny, it's a whole eight in the clocks. 
No, they my two, they've all got singletons as well. So we've got ten. Oh. There are ten of them within three and a half years. Yeah. And eight a cox and a coach. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I think they're not all your personal ones. Are you, Jenny, they're not all your personal ones, are they? Or are the you um my grandchildren? grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I was gonna see them and come back. <laughs> Excellent. And right, they're, 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 all, they're, they're nearly all Christchurch members, aren't they? Oh no, four, four are. Yeah. Six are the other way. Ah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, congratulations, Lucy, on your silver. Thank you very much. Well, I couldn't have done it without. I had lots of help from lots of different coaches, including Gwen. So, so we were talking about thank yous earlier. So I need to thank Gwen for giving me some coaching tips encouragement along the way but yeah thank you and Kate I saw the dark top nest guys there they did they had a good day didn't they they did but like you like you we like the rough weather because we train a lot in nasty conditions and I think it helps the women got a silver in yeah I saw yesterday they got second on Saturday and uh Pete Atkinson and Rod got their usual bunch of goals so we had a good day for us yeah really good yeah I the only thing that I was surprised about is that people were surprised that it was rough <laughs> <laughs> I know I was uh, I was sad not to be there but we had we had our own regatta this weekend and uh, I hadn't made the eight so um that was good it was nice and sunny for a bit it was a bit breezy but not no waves yeah. so it was a good day right I suppose we should get started so same as usual we're going to start to do lots of stretching around the hips and the backs, uh, particularly for me. And uh, then we're going to do our, our glute activation work and our glute med work. So we'll start as normal on the floor on the back. I am in Christchurch Road upstairs in the bar, so hopefully you can still see me. So we're starting by lying flat on the back. Just taking a minute to check that we're equally weighted right side to left side and that we're equal through our touch points. So our heels, our bum and our shoulders. And then when we come to the shoulders, just squeezing the shoulder blades together and squashing your chin down. I'm gonna take some nice deep breaths. So we're gonna do our four count breath in, hold for two, and then our four count breath out. So on that breath in, just feeling the chest lift up. And then as you breathe out, just flattening your back off into the floor, and allowing yourself just to sink below the level of the floor. And bring that right knee to your chest and just hold that in a relaxed position. Just checking the alignment, making sure your knees are pointing straight up at the ceiling. And then get that nice deep breath in. Hold for two. And as you breathe out, just allowing the back to flatten up into the floor and that knee to come to you. Taking that left arm out to the side, pushing out through the left middle finger, and then your version of happy baby on the right. So just straight, straighten the knee, and then you're gonna hold either behind the thigh, mid shin, or the outside of the right foot. Again, taking that nice deep breath in. Hold for two, and then as you breathe out, Flattening the back off into the mat and just allowing the knee to come down beside your chest. Thank you. 
and bending your left leg, plant your left foot on the floor. Your right ankle is going to go over the top of your left knee. Then we're going to reach between your legs, grab behind the back of the left thigh and draw that left thigh towards you. So, then nice deep breath in. Just check a couple of things to check here. Just make sure that the left knee is pointing straight up at the ceiling. Your shoulder blades are squeezed together and your chin squash down. And then you might want to use that right arm just to push against in the, in the um, right thigh. Give yourself a little bit more to stretch. And then nice deep breath in. Hold the two. And then again, as you breathe out, just flattening that back off, feeling that stretch in the right glute. And replant that left foot on the floor. Both arms out to the side. Again, stretching out through that little, those little fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then we're going to let that left leg fall out to the side. And that nice deep. Camp for four, breath in, hold for two, and then that really long breath out. So from the right shoulder, down the side, into the hip, along the thigh, and out through the knee. Just allowing yourself to really sink into this stretch, letting the tension go as you breathe out. And unwind and both feet on the floor. And we're just going to move into our first of our two glute bridges. So bring your heels as close to your bum as you can. And then we'll do our three pelvic tilts. One, two, three. Then driving up through the heels and those hips as high up as you can get. And then we're going to hold there for 10, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, bum to the floor, knees to the chest for a little bit of free physio. So just doing small circles with the knees or rocking from side to side, just finding that little niggle and allowing yourself a bit of free massage. Keep hold of the left leg and straighten the right leg out. We are stretching on the left side. So again, just holding that knee in a position that's comfortable. Don't go into the stretch just yet. Take that nice deep four count breath in. Hold for two. And then as you breathe out, just flattening the back off and allowing the knee to come to your chest.
take that right arm out to the side, reaching out through the middle finger, and then your version of happy baby on the left. Hide the thigh, ridge shin or holding the foot. Four count breath in. Hold for two. And then on that breath out, just relaxing the back of the thigh and allowing the knee to come down beside your chest. From there, bend your right knee, plant your right foot on the floor, left ankle over the top of the right knee, then you're going to reach behind the back of the right thigh and draw that right thigh towards you. And again, just maybe taking, taking a second, just to make sure the right knee is pointing straight up at the ceiling, the shoulder blades are squeezed together and your chin squashed down. And then there's good breaths. And on that breath out, just flattening the back off into the mat. And replant that right foot on the floor. Stretch both arms out to the sides, pushing out through the middle fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and squash the chin down. And then we're just gonna let that right leg fall out to the side. So when the right leg goes out to the side, just make sure that you're only going far enough so that the shoulder blades don't lift off the mat. I'll do that. Really good breaths here. Really deep breath in on that four count. Hold for two, and then the long breath out from the left shoulder all the way down to the left knee. Sinking into that stretch, just allowing all the tension to go. And unwind and place both feet on the floor. And do the second of our two breathe bridges to bring those heels as close to your bum as you can. And do our three pelvic tilts. One, two, three, and then driving up into Greek bridge. Peel your toes off the floor. And then we're gonna hold there for 10, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, bum to the floor, knees to the chest, and a little bit of free massage, so small circles with your knees, or rocking from side to side, and then from there we're going to move into happy baby on both sides, Nice deep breath in. Then on that exhalation, just flatten your back off into the mat and just feel those knees come a little bit closer to the floor. So this first part of the stretching routine, right up until what we're doing here with the happy baby, I now do that as part of my warm up on a race day.
and let go of the outside of your feet, cross your ankles, re-grab the outside of your feet, and then we're gonna rock and roll up into our sitting position. Just moving back onto the mat, so still in the center, and then put your legs straight out in front of you. And then we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, wrap our left arm around the right knee, and then we're going to look back over the shoulder. Spinal twisting mixed with glute stretch. Just remembering then that, that as we breathe in, we're going to lift up through the low back. And as we breathe out, we'll look back over the right shoulder. I would play with the position of this right leg. It's at the moment I've got my ankle crossed over my knee, but if you play with the position of that right leg, you might even get yourself a little bit of a sneaky hamstring stretch. And relax, I'm gonna go back the other way. So the left ankle is gonna come over the top of the right knee. Wrap around and then reach back behind the left glute. And again, just really stretching up through that low back on the breath in and looking over the shoulder on the breath out. And back to the centre. And then we're going to go into our cross leg position. And our shoulder right there. So for this one, we're going to reach the right arm up in the air, at the right, bend the right elbow, and then your choice, depending on how flexible you are, you can go at the back with the left arm. Or if like me, you're not very flexible, you can come over the top. And again, as we breathe in, just make sure that we're sitting slightly forward. And that we're stretching up through that low back. Gonna leave, let the chest lift up as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're just gonna allow that arm to go a little bit further down our back. Relax and swap arms. So breathe in, just feeling ourselves lift up. And as you breathe out, just allowing the arm to come a little bit down, further down your back. And relax. And we're just going to go over forwards. My hands and knees. And have a shoulder stretch here. So we're going to thread the needle. So from this position, right arm comes under the left. Left ear to the floor, right arm up in the air. And then play with the position of that right arm to give you more stretch. And just doing a couple of deep breaths. Feeling as you exhale that chest opening up. We plant the right arm back into the tabletop. And we're going to go the other way. So spread the right arm through, right ear to the floor, left arm up in the air. Just 
Really checking the position of your hips here, make sure that they stay in line with your knee. Don't fall out to the side. Replanting that right left hand on the floor, back to the tabletop. Then we're going to go up onto our toes, so our knees are just hovering, and then back onto our haunches. Excellent, good. And then we're going to rocket launch forward into plank, into side plank so that we can do our hip dips. Just remember, you can knock that left knee if the side plank's too much. And then we're going to do five of those one, two, three, four, five. Back into plank. Then we're going to do the other side. So the side plank the other way. And our five hip dips. One, two, three, four, five. Back into plank. Back into downward dog. And just our calf stretches. And then our right leg's going to go up in the air. It comes through and plant next to the right hand for our hip opener. So you can stay in that position. You can drop the back leg, or if you're feeling particularly stretchy this morning, you can go down onto your elbows. You should now be feeling that stretch across the front of the left thigh and on the inside of the right hip. Coming back up onto the hands, we're going to move back to down the dog. Again, just pedaling those feet, stretch out the calves. And then we're going to do the hip opener on the left. So left leg up in the air, swings through, plants next to the left hand, up the right knee. Again, you can stay there if you like, or you can go down onto your elbows. Really like this hip opener and starting with the leg going back up into the air because it takes the hip through the its fullest range. And then back up onto the hands. Stepping back into downward dog. And then we're going to walk the hands up and come up tall so we can do our air traffic control. So you can nearly see my head here. There we go. So just finishing off with the last of our glute med exercises. So arms up in the air. We're going to drop that left arm parallel to the mat. We're going to try and keep a straight line on the right as the legs go out to the side. So we're going to go one, two, nice and slowly. Three, four, five. And then arms together at the top. We're going to drop arm down the other side, keeping that nice straight line on the left now. That's it, and then just nice and slowly with that right leg. Really working that glutes on the left. Three, I think, four, five. And well done, everybody. Good job, nice session. <laughs>